So today I'm going to show you how you can create your own NFT and everything we do today I will compare to Bored Ape so you have better understanding what you are doing and today I'm going to pretend that you don't know anything about NFTs and that you are starting from beginning so just follow step by step what I'm doing and today I will show you how you can create your own NFT for free and sell it for money on OpenSea. So over here I create myself new Chrome account. So we are starting from zero and first thing which we are going to do, we are typing open C. So when you click on OpenSea, first thing which you need to do, you need to connect your account. But if you don't have Metamask account, right now we are going to make one. It's going to take you around one minute. And if you do already have Metamask account, just switch this part and go watch rest of the video. So thing which we are doing, we are going to Google and we are typing Metamask Chrome extension. So over here you click on first link and be sure that is not add. Then you click over here and over here you click add to Chrome. Add extension then get started. If you are watching this you probably don't have wallet already so you go create a wallet. You read this and then you agree. You create your password then you create your account. Next over here you have your secret recovery price and what you need to do you need to take piece of paper and type all these words and not show it to anyone please do not storage this on your PC. Once you storage it, you go next. And over here, you need to click on every single word which you just typed. So once you've done all of this, you go confirm and you are all set up. You press all done. And if you go over here, you can click on this pin and then every single time when you go to your Chrome, your MetaMask account will be over here. And like you can see, Ethereum mainnet is over here by default and you don't need to transfer any money. This which I'm going to show you is completely free. So now when you have your MetaMask, you just go over here and then this will pop out and you go next. And over here, you are connecting your MetaMask account to OpenSea. So this is our new OpenSea account. And if you want to make your own NFT, you go over here in create, you click on this, you sign this signature request and then you're over here and you can start creating your NFT. So first thing which you need to do, you need to add your picture. Over here you can see which files are supported and max size should be 100 MB. So in my case I saved one Bored Ape picture, it's over here. And everything I do I will just compare it to Bored Ape because I do believe it's going to be way easier for you to understand. So first thing which you need to do, you need to add name. I called it board ape test. Next thing which you can do is add external link and basically what you are doing over here, if you created, for example, website from your NFTs, you can put it over here. So if there is someone who is interested in your NFT, he will have better understanding what you are doing. Next thing is description. And over here, you can type everything what is important about your NFT. For example, in board A, you can see description is over here under your NFT. So you can type basically whatever you want. So after that over here, you can select collection where you want to put your NFT. So basically right now, like you can see, I have no results because I don't own any collection. But in next video, I will show you how to make it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other question, you can ask me on my Twitter. So we are skipping this part. And right now we are coming over here. So first thing which we are doing is properties. This is extremely important and it's really easy to make because you just need to click over here. And for example, if you remember, I have my board ape with orange background. And if I click over here and I type background and over here, I need to type which background is in this photo and it's orange. And then if I press save, you will see it over here. I can also add more traits. So I just go over here, add more, and then I can type four. And then over here, which color was his four? And it was pink. So then when I save, basically I can show you over here on this original collection, you can see every single trait which this NFT have over here in properties. So you can see orange background. You can see four is pink. And for example, why this is important, a lot of people love those details. And for example, if you love only board apes with pink four, you can always go over here and press on this. So it's going to show you every single NFT which has 
ping 4 and uh, over here you can press that is going from low to high and then you can snipe something if you think is worth or you can go over here and go to recently sold and then you can see for example for what price are they usually selling and you can see in average over here they are selling for around 76 ethereum so that's why properties and their trades are really really important and more you have better your collection will look like so the next thing level stats and unlockable content basically you don't need to do anything over here because you are creating only one nft but if you want to do collection or add more you can always go and edit your collection and then you just go over here and you add more so i will not waste your time on this next thing which we have over here is sensitive content and basically if you have something sensitive in your nft you should check this if you don't uncheck it and then last part before we create our nft you need to choose on which blockchain you want to mint it so you have few options you have ethereum made by default but gas fees are extremely high then solana it's really high speed, low cost, sustainable blockchain and you have Polygon which we are going to choose today because if you are minting on Polygon you can mint it with gas free. So it will cost you zero to make your NFT and this is probably why you are here. And then over here phrase metadata basically if you want you can freeze it and then you cannot edit anything what you put over here. So this is personal choice but you need to create your NFT first anyway. So we go to create then you confirm that you are not robot. And there we go we just create our NFT. Like you can see over here it's minted 32 seconds ago from null address then description you can see created by you test to show you how to create nft which we typed earlier so now let's say you made some mistake and i already show you you can go and you can edit and then you can change whatever you want and also if you want to sell it you can go over here you type for how much ethereum you want to sell it of course that doesn't mean that someone will actually go and buy it you can see what is price in us dollars and basically duration how much your nft will be listed for sale if you want you can press six months if you want you can press one day and then you go complete listing you need to sign few more requests with your metamask account then another one and then over here is asking me to switch my wallet my metamask wallet to polygon and then we press switch and since i don't have polygon on my new metamask account like you can see over here if i go here i have only ethereum but you can add it if you want to it's extremely simple or you go switch and over here it's going to add it for you you check if everything is all right and then you press approve after that it's going to ask you if you are willing to switch to polygon and then you switch and then you sign with your polygon metamask sign and then we are done your nft is listed and basically this is everything how to create your nft and put it for sale on OpenSea. please subscribe to my channel because i'm going to show you few more tips and in next video i'm going to show you how to create your own collection